Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of Nerd Up. This week, I got Lindsay Wolfgang. Hello. And Mandy Kennedy. Oh, hey. And I'm your host, Jesse Kimball. And uh, yeah, that's all we got today. Uh, <laughs> Dalton bailed on me. Ace is out of town. So, yeah. We support you. That's right. I love you both. Yay. You are my favorites today. <laughs> We're always your favorites. Yeah. If this was a uh, person, it was us and Shannon. I don't think he'd say the same. <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, I missed that. Now what now? I he said, d- he was... doesn't think Shannon would say that we were his favorite. <laughs> oh. Although I do know Shannon does miss you on the Thursday show. I a miss lot. it so much. We we both we all miss you on the Thursday show a whole lot. Like nothing nothing against Allie. Allie's great. I, I just need some more little fitty in my life. Uh, I told him we should try for a Saturday night. <laughs> I said, do you guys <laughs> want to do, do a special? Yeah. I was like, what if you just bumped it to Saturday one week? <laughs> he said, you know, I might be on board with that. I'm like, you should be. Could be. It could be. It could be a neat, uh, yeah, neat break from the norm. We can yeah, have, have a, PZ. A, a special Mandy Saturday. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yes, a, PZ, a, P, a Saturday special of PZAD. Yes, please. Could be, that could be neat. Uh, yeah, because this point like i only see mandy like here basically i know right and then occasionally when i have to go to her office at the place we both work yeah but last couple times has just been at the shows yeah because i just i work and then then by saturday i'm like oh bed you're so beautiful (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) but hey we'll have the weekend of the con together yes and our tables should be beside each other if amanda set things up right again i hope so (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, uh, on to the the nerdy stuff though. Uh, cons are nerdy. Cons yeah, are nerdy. True. Cons are nerdy. <laughs> that's but why that's Ace not is new missing one. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm I'm really bummed. I was planning on being there. Yeah, uh, that's what he said. You were really debating on going. Yeah, because uh, it was one of those things. Kevin wasn't really available on Saturday, and I was only going to be there for Saturday. Yeah. Uh, basically, Friday after I got off work, mm-hmm. uh, I was going to get like an Airbnb go on, you know, just Saturday only, and then go home after the convention. Yeah, Kevin was unavailable uh, all day on Saturday, or most of the day on Saturday, so I was like, well, crap. Mm-hmm. I don't want to turn Audra into the third wheel here, uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I decided. Nope. Yeah, so I decided like, eh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll just I'll just stay home. Or and then the the uh, the tournament came up uh, yeah, that we true. went to. So, then so. He at least had something to do. Right. Yeah. I was like, you know what? That I'm fine with missing because uh, you know I get to go to this tournament. We went up to Park Hills, got some delicious cheeseburgers uh from the like this neat little old school diner like yeah cash only place up there we had fuzzy's tacos today Ooh. Oh. you know we're getting a taco place in jackson really yeah is it fuzzy's uh, no she wishes god i do wish <laughs> that building where pizza pro was <laughs> yeah apparently it's becoming a taco place dope right new lunch option <laughs> excited about that yeah. anyway so on to the actual nerdy stuff yeah. um <laughs> so mark hamill is gonna voice Yay. chucky but why? He's such a nice, good guy. I mean, I can what? get behind it because he's the Joker. <laughs> no, I was about I, to say, I like, <laughs> hold on now. <laughs> yeah, no, Mark Hamill's, uh, his best roles are his villains. I mean, such a nice guy. Luke Skywalker is cool and everything. Yeah, no, Mark Hamill himself is uh, apparently a, a great person. Yeah, but, but the Joker's like a cool bad guy. I've never well, seen the Chucky movies, so... I Imagine seen that the first one and a few random other ones. When I was a child, of all the horror movies that I was subjected to, <laughs> uh, Child's Play was the most traumatizing. Uh, I don't know why, but yeah, like Jason, eh, <laughs> Freddy, eh, <laughs> Chucky. You bring out that my buddy doll, <laughs> and you just like, nope. Yeah, no, the 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 doll running around. The, there's movies that it's from, but the one that always just really messed with me. They're doing like this uh, this military training thing where they've actually got like little assault rifles, uh, but they have special rounds that are loaded with paint instead of actual bullets. Well, the red team, uh, Chucky went in and replaced all their rounds with live ammunition. Okay. <laughs> and they're just going to think that it's red paint because, yeah. Yeah, they just started shooting. Uh, oh the enemy team, and yeah, with real bullets, and I don't. But that messed with me. Like that, that is yeah. still a vivid memory in my no, head. No, I feel like that would have messed with me if I watched that one <laughs> as a small child. Uh, so yeah, like that was. Thank you, parents, for sheltering me. Oh, Seriously. my parents would have been furious had they known half the stuff that my brother made us watch whenever like he was babysitting us. Uh. So my older brother's my older brother's five years older than me and Jake. Uh, Jake uh. and I being like about a year and a half apart. Yeah. 
Um, That's yeah. fair then. And he would babysit us sometimes, and he's like, the 13th. <laughs> Okay. I'm not going to sleep for a month. <laughs> yeah. And like I said, Friday the 13th, Nightmare. Of a, like, we enjoyed those movies, like, as kids. I don't know why. Um, maybe I was we just. freaked out by Beetlejuice as a kid. Oh, I love Beetlejuice. I specifically too. remember my parents and brother watching The Sixth Sense, and they'll be like, you should probably stay in your room and go to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> You're uh, scary? Okay. I'm already. <laughs> Upset by Independence Day and Twister, so I'm sure they knew. Which I want to point out for the world to know that there was an Ask Reddit thread of what movies traumatized you as a child, and I am not alone in either of those. Because I remember we had a Thursday show about, mm -hmm. and, and you guys were all like, uh -huh, I mean, I uh -huh. got slightly freaked out by Dante's Peak when the lady was wading through acid. That too. Yeah, no, I, I watched that one as this, well. <laughs> but everyone was like, really? Twister? Really? There's people on I mean, Reddit that hey, understand me. Tornadoes in general freak me out. I mean, so. especially like living in Tornado Alley like yeah. we do. Like, no, Twister's a fair one. I don't remember that one. <laughs> uh, I think the uh, Independence Day is the one that I remember. <laughs> and it's like, really, Will Smith? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was not alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, like that one, like those were fine. Uh, but yeah, something about child's play when I was a little kid. I mean, I say something about child's play. It's very clearly because it's a toy come to life, <laughs> killing things. Yeah. And I was a child that had toys. Yeah. You were afraid <laughs> that your toys were and going they to come to life and yeah, kill you. They weren't Toy Story toys. They were right. Yeah. Incidentally, loved small soldiers. Also, a movie about yeah. toys coming to life and trying to kill people. I didn't really care about that one. Yeah, no, it was more funny than anything else. Uh, I actually really liked the movie as a kid. I haven't heard of, I haven't thought about that movie in over a decade. It's probably not any good. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> it's it's probably awful. Uh, but they I just, did do a lot of stop motion with those ones, though. It wasn't just all CG, so that could help. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, Mark Hamill's gonna voice Chucky, which Yay. I'm surprised this news hadn't broken sooner. Like we've already gotten a trailer for this movie. Oh. You'd you'd think like, oh, well, we got a teaser. Yeah. They are waiting to bring some more hype behind it. I guess. Because, uh, I mean, we got to see Aubrey Plaza and a bunch of the other actors that are going to be in the movie. Just Yeah. Yeah, we even got... I, well, no, I don't think we've actually gotten a clear look at Chucky yet. Like, I think it was just kind of a like a, a shaded, or, like, sort of... Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, Mark Hamill. Uh, he's going to be our, uh, our Chucky. Which... He's I'm Mark Hamill. With. It's going to be creepy. Yeah. Uh, he's going to do great. And <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, my classic childhood nightmares are going to thank him for it. <laughs> uh, but anyway, good news, though. So anybody that's been listening to the show for a while knows that I absolutely loved the first two seasons of The Arrow. Uh, and then from then on, or maybe it was season four, whenever the Olive, or the Elicity fans mm -hmm. got the writers to kill off Laurel, and and I'm no spoilers, whatever. It's been years now since that's happened. Um, got the writers to kill off Laurel so they can explore the relationship between Oliver and Felicity that killed the show. Oh, I remember you talking about that. Yeah, no, like the uh, Felicity is my least favorite part of Arrow because of what the writers did. Like I liked Felicity fine before. Yeah. Uh, except it's that terrible trope of the super sexy librarian that has her you know ponytail and glasses mm -hmm. and then suddenly you realize oh she's smoking hot when the hair comes down and the glasses oh. come off uh it's a terrible trope yeah. she is smoking hot but <laughs> it's beside the point entirely so yeah they they even made one season where the the big bad guy was damien dark who's just like an awesome dc villain made the entire season about oliver and felicity's relationship wow Drove me bonkers. Like it was, Damien Dark became a subplot for the romance main plot. That's not. Oh, cool. it drove me crazy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I gave up on the show a while back they were because trying of to just, aim to their female audience. They even turned um, Barry's thing, like his his wedding, to Iris. They turned that into Oliver and Felicity show. Like so dumb, <laughs> so dumb. So much anger around that. But anyway, she is not going to be in the final season of Arrow. Yeah. Maybe I'll get caught up on the Arrow, see, hopefully they kill her off, <laughs> and then I can maybe enjoy the last season. Such satisfaction <laughs> if they kill her off. 
Nah, it, it'll probably be just an empty victory. Like, <laughs> the damage has already long been done. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so yeah, Felicity's not going to be in the final season of Arrow. Uh, apparently, it's going to be a shortened season as well. I guess they're probably, I would imagine they're going to lengthen Black Lightning and shorten Arrow. Because hmm. Black Lightning, I think, so far has been like 10 episode seasons yeah. for the first two. Which Black Lightning is a phenomenal show. I have no clue what that is. Uh, it's another DC superhero. Uh, it's a black guy that has lightning powers. I mean, I would assume that from the name because <laughs> DC's not very creative, especially with back their then. Characters. He's a, he's kind of an old character. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it's it's actually really really good. Like, I highly recommend everybody check out Black Lightning. I think they just added the second season to Netflix, so they've got both seasons on there. Mm. And it's just it's quality viewing. Apparently, the guy they got to play Black Lightning was almost Luke Cage. Huh. Oh, nice. Yeah. He's a cool dude. Like, I, I like that show a whole lot. Like, way more than I thought I would. Uh, but anyway, on to uh, yeah, Captain Marvel. Just a, a, a quick note on Captain Marvel. Obviously, you know, everybody at this table loved that movie. Yes. Yes, and I had so little expectations for it because I originally didn't care. And I absolutely loved it. That's how I feel about when I give I go see Shazam. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like zero expectations. Yeah. I, I think a, it'll be funny, but other yeah. than that, I... I, I just I'm, feel like they, in the trailer, they tried too hard to be funny, so that's why I'm scared about the movie. Well, that's kind of how Shazam is, though. Yeah. So. yeah. He's supposed to be super goofy. <laughs> yeah. I've heard, like, a couple people I know said that they didn't think it would be that great, and they really enjoyed it. So. I've, I've got a couple friends that have already gone and seen it, and they yeah. gave it praise. So. I didn't even know it was out yet. Yeah. I, I didn't know. it was next weekend. No. Huh. Yeah. I would have looked to see that today. But in honor of it, Zaxby's honey butter chicken bacon sandwich is amazing. <laughs> but it's sadly only limited time. Oh, I haven't yeah. been to Zaxby's since it opened up. Bro, go get that sandwich now. <laughs> they have a, a spicier one, but the honey Ooh. butter bacon chicken is life. Fair enough. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, going back to Captain Marvel now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it's Praise on its- me. It's on its way to one billion worldwide. Yay! Not surprised. No, I'm I'm not either, but I am happy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like it, it absolutely should be like as successful as it is, and I'm I'm really happy. It, it is, is, but I'm already past it and ready for Endgame. So. Oh yeah, I'm so <laughs> well, ready yeah, for Endgame. I'm very very. I ready just for don't Endgame. know how we're gonna juggle Endgame because it's the same weekend as the con. So it's do we either plan now for midnight tickets Thursday or do we attempt to go Friday night after the con and oh. hope that nobody spoils it on Friday? God. Yeah, I'm probably going to see it like late Friday. That's what I do with Captain Marvel. Yeah. I'll probably see it the following next weekend, honestly. I'm going to be so exhausted from the con and wrestling. <laughs> I mean, that's understandable. I don't want to fall asleep during it. Fair but, enough, because it's going to be three plus hours. Yeah. It's going to be right at three hours. Like it's, uh, well, I think it's a 184 minute run Well, yeah. they better have some downtime that I can run to the bathroom because I don't think my bladder is going to make it to the end of it. Yeah, that's going to be a rough that was, one. It's a running joke on the internet. Somebody actually posted a meme like only the strongest bladder like uh, yeah. it was it was thanos he's like only yes. the strongest bladders will the sad part is is <laughs> usually uh, that's not that used to not be a problem for me at all but like i remember during infinity war like i'm sitting there i'm like okay mm, i need to find a spot <laughs> and then someone <laughs> and i'm pretty sure i went with like gamora was starting to talk with thanos before he was like getting where the the uh soul stone yeah. was out of her and i'm like okay this is slow bathroom bathroom <laughs> i saw someone post and was like lord of the rings fans are just like hmm no yeah. 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 Lord of the Rings fans like they uh, laugh. laughs in Lord yeah. of the Rings, yeah. I think was the yeah. comment I kept seeing on that. Yeah. Uh then other people were like, Depends, man. Yeah. <laughs> Ew. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-huh. Or worst case scenario, I'll do what I did before and be like, Okay, credits, 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 and then dash before the like the end mid, cre- b- before the mid credit yeah. scene. <laughs> man, yeah, that was torture with like Because that I have... was Black Panther. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I can make it to the credits. We're almost there. We're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Guardians 2 ki- like almost killed me uh, and I don't remember who I was watching it with but they were struggling to was uh-huh. it, I think it was it you might have been yeah. me because I know uh, we saw the, them together <laughs> yeah uh, yeah because Guardians 2 was like I and I'm I'm a I'm sorry folks that we're talking about bladders <laughs> right now <laughs> Uh, but like I, I'm usually good to go for a while. It's yeah, like, part I'm, of the movie experience. Darn it, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's kind of true. So Guardians Two though had like they I had read before going in, and I think because I'm I'm pretty positive it was with Mandy, and I told Mandy's like yeah, apparently there are seven. 
uh, post credit scenes in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. So we're just sitting there like, gotta go. Yeah. Gotta go. See, I waited, I waited until that one came out to, to watch that one. We That's didn't go fair. see that one in theaters, I don't think. Yeah, th- I've seen every MCU movie so far. I'm continuing that trend. Pretty much have. Oh, I didn't tell you. As soon as you let me borrow Ant-Man, guess what's on Hulu now? Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got to see it a few days earlier, I yeah. guess. Uh, but yeah, no, it's going to be yeah, 184 minutes. There will likely be no intermission. Uh, so yeah, good luck, everybody. That'd be funny if they gave it an intermission. They should. I would. I mean, they, they used to do that in movies. And apparently overseas, they do. Yeah. Like uh, the theater will actually put in an intermission halfway through a yeah, movie. Yeah, so you go back out and buy more food. Exactly. Yeah, you go That's out, you brilliant. buy more. Yeah, yeah, you buy more you know, like snacks and everything else. You you go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, and like then the you're only back movies the movie. I can think of offhand that I know for a fact have an intermission is Gone with the Wind and Titanic. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they both did. Like My Fair Lady had it, but that's because the actual play had an intermission, so they threw that in there too because you had the intermission music already scored. Right. Yeah. Which yeah, that but, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, then that same thread that Mandy and I were talking about there, there were people talking about like, wait, Americans don't just have intermissions. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, no, 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 we're really messed up over here. <laughs> Serious, or else that's the new ploy. We don't give you an intermission, so you go to the bathroom, and then whatever scene you missed, you have to go watch it in the theater, see what you missed. There was one person Probably. that said that they specifically like, you know, I don't care about it because I'm going to watch it a second time, and that way when I watch it again, like you there'll be know surprise scenes. To t- I guess. <laughs> what money do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Look, for some people, dropping ten dollars on a movie, not oh a big deal. God. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> in fairness, it's annoying, but I could, I, yeah. I, I could do that. Like, <laughs> but then you gotta like buy the popcorn and soda. It's like forty dollars every time, <laughs> bruh. <laughs> Moving I mean, on, you don't, you whatever. Don't have to These buy popcorn people. and soda every time. Don't look okay, at me like there's that. Pretzel bites too. I'm not gonna lie. I, <laughs> I might not snack during that one just to attempt to avoid the bathroom needs. Because I have yeah. a feeling that that movie is not going to have, like, bathroom break material. No, it's like if you're going to do it, you're going to almost have to do it at the beginning, if that. You know, I would say I would worry, but when we saw Captain Marvel, Justin drank, like, the whole dang soda, and I didn't even get that much, so <laughs> I think I'll be fine. Mandy was just fine. He's like, yeah, I'm probably going to go get a refill. I was like, mm-hmm. See, even that one, though, like, I was so close to the end. I'm like, okay, I can wait. I can wait. Yeah. I mean, right. they make adult diapers. I'm not I'm not that old, thank you. <laughs> that, that was another common mention in that red and thread. Uh-huh, no thank you. <laughs> uh anyway, sorry folks for the that conversation, but yeah, Captain Marvel. So, it's doing well. It's doing Yay. great. It makes me really happy because it was a great movie and sends a wonderful message and it's it's good. It's great. Yes. Uh Anywho, first poster of Adam's Family was released. I'm still excited about it. Oh, yeah, same. It's taking forever, but if it is true stop motion like it was supposed to be, that's fine. Yep. And the poster actually looks sweet. Like, it's it's the same kind of artwork we've already seen before. Yep. Uh, but still, like, it's cool to have the whole poster up there. you got the whole family. Uh, and, yeah, no, I'm, I'm stoked for this movie. We've got, uh, we're going to get the trailer on April 10th. Yay! So we'll definitely be talking about it on the show following that. Uh then the movie is still slated right now uh, for October. October 18th, 2019. I say it better be October. It's the Adams Family. Right? It, yeah, it needs to be October. I'm surprised. Well, no, I'm not surprised. Uh, it's a good idea to release it before Halloween. Uh-huh. That way it's you know, ready to go Because especially if they put any actual like horror, horror movies, that's what people want to go watch on Halloween. Yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, speaking of classic... Uh, Franchises. I was just checking to make sure Lindsay's mic was on because she was super quiet in that little string. No, it's mm-hmm. on. All right, I, was I just I might not have been as close. I'm playing with my thread. I'm sorry. That's hard. It looked like there was. I'm just... multitasking. I have less than a month to the convention. It's <laughs> fair. That's fair. It was just there's just like no sound coming out of it. I was like, oh, I wonder. <laughs> anyway, uh, it wouldn't be the first time we've gone 20 minutes into the show before I realized somebody's mic was off. <laughs> 
Uh, that happened with Trevor. His voice is so loud that it looked like uh, he was he was just quiet. I could like I had turned him up as loud as I could get him, but yeah, but um, his mic just wasn't on and it was picking up on everybody else. Picking up on yeah, it was picking up on mine and Ace's both. So whenever he talked, like it still looked like reasonable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then like there was one particular time where he's talking by himself and it was just like a little too quiet. And I looked up and saw the switch was down. <laughs> like. Ah, uh, dang it! What happened to your sound? Oh, the sound test was the same too. Well, yeah, I was, I was mm-hmm. looking at the sound test because I mean we do yeah. the sound test during the pre-show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it looked fine, but yeah, he was just like he was moved back a little bit more than normal. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah, that's when I noticed that the mic was off. Uh, anyway, my failings as a host aside. Um, <laughs> So last week we talked about Bill and Ted 3 officially confirmed. Yay! Uh, and yeah, how excited we are for that. Uh, William Sadler will be back as death. I told you. I know you did. And I'm happy that it's official. Yeah, well, I'm not happy that they're going to make me cry. Isn't Asa pretty excited also going oh, yes. to cry? No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, they're uh, they're going to make us cry. They're going to do something for Rufus. Uh-huh. It's obviously George Carlin's not coming back. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be super upsetting. But what what'd you do there, Lindsay? Oh no, it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I just see you fighting with a pile of cloth or a string. Um, One strand came undone, and now it's a mess. And don't mind me. Keep talking about Bill and Ted. <laughs> I mean, that's about all I got for Bill and Ted. Like, I'm gonna be really sad when they do like the funeral. For I just hope they don't recast Rufus. No, I really hope I, they don't, I don't recast think they him. will. He was too big of a role. Yeah, as far as that goes, I I really doubt that they will do anything along those lines with it. Um, but I am super happy that Death is going to make a return again. Yes, because he was awesome. Oh yeah, he was fantastic. <laughs> he was so great. Although I do worry uh, what sort of role he will be playing, or if he is still an indentured servant to them because they beat him. <laughs> because that's basically what it was before is like you beat me i have to do what you say so. i mean <laughs> i'm wondering if this is a uh, in the era when he's uh i, I hope they explore a little bit because you know after i just rewatched uh bogus journey uh a, a, like a few days ago and they have the 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 end credits they have like basically the newspaper clippings of uh-huh. their future and they talk about like you know death uh their the solo. wild yeah the wild yes. stallions um, they they I they have forgot about that until you mentioned but the yep. fact that it clicked it cuz i've watched that movie so many times so good but yeah they have <laughs> they have their you know their super successful albums and everything and then death goes solo, solo with his fails miserably yep. because there was a there's a lip syncing controversy <laughs> and then he and rejoins he the wild, wild stallions. stallions. So I'm really hoping that that comes up. That would be uh, hilarious. Yes. Like I, I want because I'm sure this is going to be post uh, them rejoining. Well, Maybe then it's... that makes me also wonder if Station is going to be still in it because Station, Station was be part of it. the band. That's true. Station played bongos. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Station's got to come back. <laughs> but that'll be easier to do since that this was is just, just CG, yeah, puppets uh, and CG. I was about to say they, they could they just did puppets Station. in the old one <laughs> with that big old weird butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's got an epic Martian booty. Um, but anyway, hey, you haven't seen any of these movies, have you? No, I well, no. Shannon already packed it. They're on Hulu. Okay, watch them. They are wonderful. And I, I know it has nothing, but every time you said Rufus, I just picture naked mole rat. <laughs> no, no. And I'm like, I know this is so far. No, off. it's a time traveling George Carlin. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's awesome. He yes. Is. Uh, Remember, children, do not do your homework without. He- <laughs> <laughs> so yes, Mandy, you definitely need to watch these movies, though. They still hold up pretty well. Yeah. The effects are kind of cheesy. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it just screams late 80s, early 90s. It's so great. In every yeah, Excellent way. Adventure was 88 or 89, and then Bogus Journey was like 90, 91. Yeah, I think, I think you had it. The second numbers were right for both of those. I yeah. think it was 89 and 91, uh, or 88 and 91. Regardless screams oh, that no. time period. One is in the 80s binge file and one is in the <laughs> 90s binge file. Got it. <laughs> but they're pretty close together and it's a young Keanu yes. which looks a whole lot like old Keanu but... Just with more of a surfer haircut. <laughs> Good guy. And he talks more like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Um, so yeah. 
Death I'm is sorry. coming back. I, no, it's fine. Mandy needs to see these movies real bad. Give up. <laughs> Give up. Right, folks, she has given up she's on the string up. that she's been working on for the past five Roller minutes. Roller Coaster Tycoon turns 20 today. What? What? Blame Reddit. What? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> what? I know. All right. So Us <laughs> uh, came out last weekend? Uh, two weeks. Was pretty it sure. Really that? No, it had to have been last weekend. Was it? I don't know. I, I know don't. you yeah, asked us last week if we were going to go watch it Sunday, and we didn't. Yeah, because last yeah last weekend was opening weekend for it. Okay. Uh, did I talk about it last week on Nerd Up? Because I feel like I should have. You mentioned no. You wouldn't have mentioned it on After Dark because you had to have mentioned it on Nerd Up then. But did I? Because that's what I'm wondering. Because I don't. I was on last the... week, wasn't I? Yeah, you. I were. don't remember. I'm losing all <laughs> tracks of time. <laughs> Well, I can I can pull this up. I can make this a reality. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. Um, so what, Hi, are you Mandy, ma- what are you? What are you making? I'm embroidering a snail. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a snail, but I didn't know if it was supposed to be a specific yeah. type no, of it's snail. It's just a snail made out of socks, and it's adorable. Yeah. And he has the Mr. Bill. Oh no! Face. I was wondering what that O face was. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm trying to make them a little different from last year's. So. Oh, for the convenience, oh, no, Mr. Yep. Bill. I have four other ones besides this one done already yeah my mom's been working on the decals and i've been looking up more and stuff and i bought more blank buttons to make i'm gonna do that tonight yes or i might just say screw it and play yoshi (laughs) (laughs) look at this pikachu my mom made the eyes are straight from the picture but as a decal he looks super derpy oh my goodness (laughs) so i was like maybe move the eyes just a little bit. So she ended up moving him to the middle. I think maybe <laughs> might move him down. Is she okay. still doing the Voltron Vs? Because I'm probably going to have to buy one. Yes. Should I make them different colors? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do You do black, red, blue, yellow, and the green, colors green that are on for the... sure. And then also do pink for Alora. Okay. I so feel like the, ones... the eyes need to move up a little bit, inside a little bit, and also he needs to not be cross-eyed. <laughs> I, well, on, I guess because the picture on the computer, you know, is like probably black and then white in the middle it's or just something. Converted so it. this is yeah. So I like open it up and I'm like, oh, Pikachu, you look so derpy. But I also don't know if my mom knew what derpy meant in a text, so I had to figure out how to say he looks weird without saying derpy. Uh, in her era, uh, goofy works. Yeah. Uh, I was like, I think looks it looks a little weird. I was like, it looks good, but maybe move the eyes a, diff- a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, the eyes look a little strange. All right, so I figured out he did not talk about us last weekend. I saw okay. it last weekend because I actually we ta- saw maybe it. we talked about it Thursday. May no, because I had I saw it like uh, Thursday night or Friday I night. Meant no, this I saw past it. Thursday. No, because you guys hadn't seen it have. yet. Oh yeah. Oh. Anyway, uh, the I mean the the short and sweet version. Uh, I, I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. The plot twist in the last five minutes, I was not a huge fan of. Because Shannon was asking you about that, but I don't remember when he was asking Sunday you about night. that. Was uh, that or Sunday? Saturday night. It was uh, after... Was that uh, after wrestling. Yeah, we had after wrestling. Eating. That's what I'm remembering yep. now. Because I had watched it Friday Before night, I forgot I my purse at Buffalo Wild Wings. Yes. Oh, snap. Before that happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had to make a return trip to get Lindsay's purse. Um Anyway, yeah, no, I, so yeah, I saw us uh, last weekend on opening weekend. Uh, I, I I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like I said, it, it was a solid horror film. Um, in my opinion, the plot twist makes the uh, plot fall apart a little bit mm. because it makes you really start thinking about a lot of stuff. It's and, one eh. of those ones. Yeah. Um, it's one of those, those of us that think too much at the end should probably just not think and we might ignore, might enjoy it more. I mean, like, it's still a really enjoyable movie, like, throughout. Like, it was a solid horror movie and it had, like, a very specific message that the plot twist, in fairness, hammered home really okay. hard. Um but it just wasn't, I don't know. I, I didn't like w- how they did the plot twist. Yeah. Uh, Fair it, enough. Yeah, it just, yeah. Anyway, overall, though, like, easily a matinee. Okay. Um, like, so my, my early Sunday mornings is fine. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, like, I think this movie is worth seeing in theaters just because, like, just in general horror movies, like, a good horror movie is best in the movie theater. Because you like it's easier to immerse yourself in the movie that way. Is it one of those ones that the volume goes up and down constantly? Because those annoy the crap out of me. Uh, no, um, our the volume in our theater was just up really loud in general. 
Okay, but it was um, still constant. It wasn't. Yeah, the, it was consistent. You're straining one minute, and then your ears are bleeding the next. No, yeah, nothing like that. It was. It was consistently the same volume through. Okay. Like it, because it wasn't really a. Um, it wasn't a jump scary type deal. No, there's not a whole lot of. It, it, there's not a whole lot of jump scares. It was more. Uh, it's more akin ten- to a, It's more tension horror, isn't it? Yeah, like uh, you, it would be more accurately described as a thriller. Okay. Uh, because I mean, obviously, you've seen from the trailers, like it's you know. A different family yeah. um, that looks real similar to him. So yeah, it's it's good though. Like I I definitely enjoyed it. If you're a fan of horror movies, like check it out. It's it's where it's absolutely worth watching in theaters. Uh, definitely a rental if nothing else. Like I would not say skip this movie. Like it's, at some point mm. see it. At some point see the movie. It's good. Um, but anyway, this next portion of our podcast brought to you by our wonderful friends at Villainous Grounds in Perryville, Missouri. Yay. I haven't been able to make it up there the past couple of Fridays because my compatriots uh, have been unavailable to join me, So, and I don't want to make a solo trip for some reason. I did. You made a solo trip up there? Yeah, like two weeks ago to drop off artwork, and I think I hung out for like an hour and a half because <laughs> I hadn't talked to them in like a month. Easy yeah. to do. They're, yeah. they're easy people to talk to. They're good. They're good yeah. people. I like hanging out with them. I still have so much stuff to pick up. I probably do, too, at this point. But anyway, oh, did you get your comics that I left here? Yes, I did. All right. Gracias. De nada. Uh, so, yeah, Villainous Grounds, Perryville, Missouri. Phenomenal shop. So, uh, kind of a, a light week after C2E2 kind of broke a whole bunch of news. But uh, the biggest thing to come for comic books, uh, not so I guess friendly to local shops, but... Uh well yeah no this is this is still fine DC Universe uh is going to add the complete library of comic books to their service uh it's not going to increase the price it's just if you are subscribed to DCU or you can subscribe now and you will have access to all DC comics up to a year ago yeah I mean you're still going to get the collectors that are going to want physical copies so if nothing else they may start reading something that's still running and then decide to go. Right. Get a subscription. Because for- especially going up to a year ago, like I feel like a year is a little too long. I think Marvel hit that sweet spot with six months because then it's still kind of easy to go in uh, to your local comic books. shop yeah, and get caught up to current. Yeah. Because this is a great way. Like most comic shops don't have a stock or back stock going back that far uh, minus like, you know, the super easy to find stuff or like the super hard to find stuff is basically all you're, all you're going to find that's mm-hmm. older than a year in a lot of comic shops. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool that, you know, you can get caught up on a run. Like, you know, if you want to get caught up on Batman that's been running yeah. uh, for a while now, you can get on there, like, get caught up, and then, I mean, then you still have to go in and get, well, it's twice monthly, so 24 issues. Ooh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's where I like Marvel's uh, version a little bit better because they have the six months. So then you can go, you can get caught up to six months ago. Then you can go to your local comic shop and just start grabbing them from, yeah, uh, you know, get current if you want to. And so yeah, that it's it's. I do like the idea just in general of them like having the service where you can you know read all you want from there. Backstop because there's some comic books out there that like the only way you can find them is in like omnibuses and stuff like mm-hmm, that. And mm-hmm. it'd be nice just to be able to read them, which I approve of this service is what I'm getting at. Or of this decision for DCU. Because I I was uh you know, going back to when they first announced how they were doing the comic books, I was a big critic of how they were doing it. They were just supposed to be bringing in like a rotating list yeah. of like hot titles. I remember like, that. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't like that plan. Just do all or nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and then, there seems they're going more that route. Then. Yeah. looks like they're going all, like I said, they're going to be a year behind, uh, which I guess is, I mean, it's fine. Uh, like that's going to allow you to read a basically, or I say basically that is going to let you read the entirety of new 52 and most of rebirth or a lot of rebirth. Dang. Uh, Because I forget Rebirth has been going for almost three years now. Oh, wow. That can't be right. I have to be wrong on that. I hope I'm wrong on that. It probably sounds right. That's probably when I started going to Rebirth. I mean, my brain still doesn't want to comprehend that we've been doing this for like four years. Yeah. 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 I started podcasting because I I was the pen and nerd and came out a little bit before PC85. Mm -hmm. So I have been doing this for four years now. Yeah. That blows my mind. Mm hmm. Blows my mm-hmm. mind. Anyway, uh, so 
Yeah, for those of you that haven't jumped on the DCU service, now is as good a time as any. Uh, they've got the first uh, half of the new season of Young Justice up. Uh, I still haven't watched Titans, but apparently it's pretty good. Doom Patrol is apparently incredible. They've got some other content on the way. And then, yeah, being able to get caught up on all these comic books. Uh, so I can actually jump behind this service now. It's worth diving in. How much is it again? Uh, it's not very expensive. It's like $8 a month. Okay. Because I do want to watch Young Justice. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Have you, wa- have you got caught I up on that season? No, I was just I thinking, watched... maybe I'll watch that tonight when we were eating our pizza. <laughs> there you go. What, Lindsay? None. You, you said I watched. I mean, I watched the two that were out, and then I was sad there was no more. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You need to rewatch those two again before you watch the third one, I though, because you get confused as heck. Uh, maybe. She's seen it more recently than we have. Oh, yeah. That's true. It's been a while since I've... Because I remember when I first watched that show... I mean, uh, it's only been two okay. years since, since you watched I watched it, because it. it was when I started doing the... Um, the Pokemon the, card the comic, stuff. The comic uh, Pokemon crossover drawings. Oh, yeah. Because I was doing those while I was watching. Well, I had finished Young Justice. I was finishing Young Justice because um, I started Justice League after that, and then I was watching some of the movies that you had. Oh, yeah. Because that's why I did one of them as Blue Beetle. So. Yeah, no, yes. I remember that now. I like that one. It's still the, hanging, The Heracross too. Blue Beetle. Yeah, it's still yeah. hanging. Oh, hey. Yeah. All its glory. Yeah, I brought one here to put up. Um, but anyway. So yeah, the, the Young Justice season three is pretty awesome. Like I, that purpose is, if nothing else, uh, I do want to watch some of the other content they've got on there. But so far, like I've just been using it to occasionally throw on an episode of uh, Batman the Animated Series or something like that. Yeah. So all of that's on there in HD, mm-hmm. even though I have the Blu-ray. And <laughs> now you don't have to put it in. Right, <laughs> just stream it. Yeah. Sometimes we're lazy and we don't want to put in a disc. Yep. Or sometimes you know you're going to be moving in two months and someone got a little gung-ho happy and already packed up all your DVDs. That would be the that's every time I move that's the last thing I pack is my entertainment area. But anyway, um, because you guys are moving for a while. (laughs) August, you have all summer. He's right. He's he's so ready to just go, which is fine. Like I mean, they're looking at couches today, and I'm like, you don't have anywhere to put a couch. I remember asking already. I was like, yeah, so won't you move in, like, May? Because I thought you were originally supposed it's June, to. June 11th, I think, is the As earliest Allie we just, can. Uh, Allie said August. No. Or, or you're way behind on conversations. I just, this week. Well, like, they, Thursday was, when I came yeah, into GG. No, it's June. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it was originally. Uh, that's that's not for the podcast. Yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Train anyway. wreck. <laughs> All right, so this next portion of our podcast is brought to you by our friends Josh and Allen of Press Start to Join. You can Woo-hoo. find all of their content on ps2jshow.com, including their social media links. And uh, the last Wednesday of every month, meaning this past Wednesday, they do History of Gaming. They did Devil May Cry. That's uh, that's an intense that, franchise. That, that was the one where Ace is like, why? Why would you do that to yourself? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah okay. that was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because we, we got to break that news on Nerd Up. Yeah. Um, that they were going to do Devil May Cry. So, yeah, that one's out, and that's going to be uh, – I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm going to because that's an intense franchise to try and get into. Yeah. We need so, to tell Ethan to go listen to it. Right. I'm sure, yeah, Ethan would love it. Uh, he's a big Devil May Cry fan. Anyway, moving on. So, the, the big news out of video games this week, and I'm so bummed, as much as I love these two, <laughs> I'm so bummed that I don't have Ace or Dolphin. We're there. idiots that don't play it. I wouldn't say you're idiots. It's not my genre of game. How it's about that? Definitely a character flaw. Because <laughs> <laughs> these games are so good. Borderlands, Gearbox had a conference. Uh, so, we finally got, you know, we've been teased for a little while now that we were going to get a big announcement on March 28th. And uh, we got it. Uh, we got Borderlands 3 has been officially announced. The conference was, um, I can't say the word, a crap show. Uh, like, it just, everything. It was a frenzy. Everything went poorly. Uh, like, that's unfortunate. I, I'm only happy, like, I, I got the trailer at the end. I mean, that's going to redeem everything, but... So it started out with a couple of uh, <laughs> like indie games that they're helping develop uh, or helping publish yeah. that look kind of cool. Like there's some that are available now. There's uh, 
uh, one that I actually wanted to look into getting because if you buy it on Steam right now, you just get a free copy to give to a friend. Oh, that's uh, cool. Yeah, it's in like green light, and I can't remember what it was called. Uh, I just that wasn't in the recap that I read today, and I completely forgot about it until just now. So eh, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so Bulletstorm, though, that was one of the big announcements that came up. They're moving Bulletstorm to the Switch, and they're putting Duke Nukem in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the uh, the met announcements that they came at the beginning. I know the name, but I'm sorry, I don't care. Oh no, nobody cares. But nobody's cared about Duke Nukem since 2001. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Duke Nukem Forever came out, and boy, was that bad. And yeah, Bullet Storm is a kind of fun game. Uh, but I mean, it's by the the makers of Gears of War. It just wasn't very good, and they're adding Duke Nukem to it, I guess, and another character that nobody cares about. Uh, and I'm sure I'm going to get some kind of shout out. Like, what do you mean nobody cares about whoever that guy was? Uh, <laughs> so, so they do that. And then uh, Randy Pitchford comes out, and he's the the, the big gun at uh, Gearbox. And he's talking about, like, first he wants to talk about the, the newest Borderlands news. And he has with him a card game. <laughs> and so yeah he comes out with this card game uh tiny tina's robot tea party uh, okay okay yeah it, it looks kind of neat like it's just yeah a little like fun kind of munchkin-esque card game like you basically build a, a clap trap uh and you okay. get parts and stuff like that you have to make clap trap and do stuff and screw over your friends it's <laughs> it's like i said it seems kind of munchkin-esque um but anyway, it looks it does look pretty fun. They do this ridiculous bit that goes way too long. With uh, he brings two people up on the stage. Their birthdays are kind of close. They're supposed to be uh, random people, and uh, like if you couldn't hear the air quotes there, there were air quotes because he does the Randy Pitchford talks about being he's he's a magician. So he talks about uh, doing this little card trick. He has uh, one of the guys sign a card. Um, then he goes over to like, uh, he signs a card in his box that he opened, goes over to the other person that was on stage. Uh, her box is gift wrapped and everything. She opens it up, uh, opens up the game, opens up the package of cards and then goes to the, the number where she put it into the stack. Yeah. And like, that's where his card was hidden. And it happened to be the 47th card. So they made her count out 47 cards. Good and girl. then, like, oh, look, it's signed. But the girl had, like, killed it by, like, flashing the rigged deck, like, at the beginning of the thing. Um, so, yeah, no, it was just a, a very planned, like, hokey magic trick that took up, like, it was it was easily 15 minutes long. It was long. highly Same. unnecessary. Very yeah. unnecessary. Like, it was, it was as unnecessary as the story I just told you, folks. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they get, they get done with the card game and everything, and then like, he, I think he was throwing shade at Blizzard. He's like, all right, guys, that's it. That's the new Borderlands game. And, like, everybody in the crowd is just like, ha-ha, Randy. Ha, yeah, ha, ha. no thank you. You're funny. What's uh, the real news? I kept waiting for him to say something like, well, you all have tables, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they bring out a bunch of uh, Borderlands devs because uh, he's like, ha, just kidding. Uh, I got a bunch of Borderlands devs with me. So they come out. Um, they start talking about like they got DLC and stuff like that and some patches planned for Borderlands 2 VR. Uh, and then the news that they broke from like other Borderlands stuff, uh, they're like, all right, we're going to show you in this trailer. So they start the trailer, and it's the opening uh, for the first trailer for the first Borderlands game. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got Marcus Kincaid talking, and uh, then it just freezes, <laughs> like, five seconds into the video. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, I'm sitting here watching on Twitch on my phone, I'm thinking my phone is frozen. Oh, yeah, And I'm like, sure. uh, oh, that's great. And then I start hearing people laughing. Yeah. I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they jump out, then they restart it. Uh, and then it freezes at exactly the same spot. Yeah. And, and everybody just starts laughing, and then they just move on from it, uh, and they show the trailer for uh, the Handsome Collection getting remastered. Mm -hmm. So what this was supposed to be was an announcement of, like, a 
a remake of Borderlands 1, like uh, not just a standard remaster, but they're adding new features like different skins and masks and helmets and stuff for the first Borderlands. So that you're literally not just doing the same game again. Yep, including like an extra boss fight at the end. And they added a bunch of cool stuff to it. Uh, And they're upgrading it to Ultra HD for PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, and PC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and then uh, they got the Handsome Collection Ultra HD remaster there too. They're not really adding anything. Just you know, uh, you're getting like an Ultra HD version, 4K. Yeah, yeah. specs. Right, and I'm thrilled to play this game in 4K because if you own uh, the Handsome Collection on Xbox One or PS4, it's a free update. And I mean, you can go out and buy the Handsome Collection. I'm sure it just went up in price again if you try to go to the used market. But mm-hmm. uh, you can buy the Handsome Collection or online. I'm sure it's back up to however much. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you have the Handsome Collection, it's a free update. And you can play if you have an Xbox One X or PS4 Pro. Uh, or if you have Borderlands 2 on PC, even just the base game, you get the 4K update. And same thing with the pre-sequel. Uh, mm-hmm. You get the 4K update. So yeah, that's super cool. Uh, and if you have the first Borderlands on PC, you get the free update. Um, you don't have to buy. You don't have to pay anything for it. They're going to re- uh, re-release it on Xbox One and PS4 for thirty dollars. Sweet. And it will be the game with all of the DLC packages. Uh, and yeah. like I said, like the big uh, extra stuff they've added to it. So I'll probably be buying the first Borderlands for a fourth time. <laughs> 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 uh, and likely more than that, because somebody would be like, you should play it on PS4 with me. Well, you pulled my leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so much pulling the leg as making a suggestion. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, That's me and Borderlands. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, yeah. You're talking to the person that buys every version of Pokemon every time. Yeah, that's yeah, true. You do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that, that's going to be really, really cool. They did say uh, if you've got at least on the PC version uh, for Borderlands 2, you're just going to get like if you download the Ultra HD remaster and everything, you're going to get 75 golden keys, which you can use to get uh, like all sorts of like cool epic loot out of the chest those borderlands fans know what i'm talking about but you know for those that maybe now want to give the franchise a shot uh that gets you some really cool loot it's always based on like what level you are when you open the chest so some people save them some people don't some people use it to just get try and get some cool stuff right then uh but anyway and you also get like they've added extra legendary weapons uh and then like there's some extra skins and stuff you get for it too plus you know all the dlc and everything is there uh, and yeah, that will be April third. So soon, yeah, next week. Yeah, well, this, this week. week. <laughs> this week, three days. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, April third. Like all that, all that stuff is landing. So, like I said, if you've ever got Borderlands one on PC, any version, uh, then yeah, you get the free update. Same thing with Borderlands two and the pre sequel. Again, yeah. Xbox and PlayStation four. If you've got the handsome collection, you get it. Um. Which I think I have on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 because... I know I have it on PlayStation 2, 3, 4. four. <laughs> one, one, one of those systems. Borderlands 2 Handsome Collection on PC. Pa- place. <laughs> she has the Handsome Collection for PlayStation 4, folks. It has Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel on disc. It's okay, Mandy. We still love you. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I don't either. <laughs> You just got so tongue-tied there. Mandy just broke for a second. That's <laughs> all. So, yeah. That was awesome. I'm super excited about that. Gives me a chance to replay the game before Borderlands 3. We got a trailer. Oh. Got a trailer for Borderlands 3. Showed off the new bad guys, maybe some new character classes. We got some new sirens. Like, stuff's looking really cool. Uh, there's a gun that runs. What? <laughs> like, like it has legs. Yeah. Why? It's got little legs. It's been around. I'm surprised you guys haven't seen it on the Why? internet. Why? I don't know, but I love it. I mean, to be fair, I've been working, so I haven't really been looking at the internet lands. And when I do, it's because I keep getting ads for furniture that I can't afford, but I keep looking at it anyways. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, like the most recent meme I saw of it was just like, uh, "Her, come over, me, but I'm a gun." Her, my parents aren't home. And then the picture is just a gun, like, trotting. <laughs> what? what? I don't have the equipment, but it'd be hilarious. 
when Carl runs next door, just put the gun on Carl's legs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it was just funny. Like, it was just part of the trailer. There's just this little gun with, like, little le- Like, it was a gun, and it just had, like, basically legs the length of, like, a, uh, like, what would be, a, like, a mounting bracket, like a mounting uh-huh. system. Yeah. They're just, like, and trotting they just, they along. just turned it into legs. Yeah, Is it, legs. like, firing while it's yeah. walking? Because why wouldn't it be? <laughs> dangerous stuff. It's Borderlands. Yeah. So I don't know why the gun is running, but I want to know. And I'm excited to find out. Because, uh, I mean, the, this game is so... Well, the humor will still be there. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, like Humor. And then Borderlands 2 had a surprisingly solid story. Borderlands 1, the story wasn't really there, but it was a really fun looter shooter. Borderlands 2, though... Holy yeah, I always crap. say that's the best one. Yeah, for sure. And the prequel is not good. I actually, I despite owning it, uh, yeah. I uh, I bought it on Xbox 360. That one, I technically have only purchased three times, uh, and I haven't played it yet. Uh, because mostly because I haven't found anybody else that would play it with me, and no. uh, like I I think I made a character in pre sequel, but like I'm really bad at playing through games by myself. Yeah. Uh even Borderlands. Like I've done it before, but uh I yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So Borderlands three is happening. We got a trailer. It had so much cool stuff in it. And like I said, it, it's probably a good thing that Asa and Dalton aren't here because like this I would have rushed would have been thirty percent of the show. Oh yeah, I would have yeah. rushed through everything so that we could gush over this trailer <laughs> yeah. and just go you'll, in depth about it. You'll just have to have a later gushing session when you get more information. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like, well, no, because we're not going to be able to do a Tuesday show this week. Because that would that would have definitely been a solid like Tuesday. Because that, that's it's uh, me and Ace's turn for Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it would have been it would have been. Are solid. you not because it's election day? Yep. That's fair. Yep. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Borderlands Three is happening. So uh, moving on from that though, the Sega Genesis Mini was announced. Yep. Uh, it's gonna have 40 games uh it looks kind of neat just i mean it's mini sega like going right along with this mini stuff yeah shannon will buy it see i wanted to buy it but i already have like sonic's mega collection which has like half the games they're gonna put on there i'm sure it has all of them because that mega collection is huge yeah i know sonic obviously shining force and dr robotnik's mean beam machine were three i definitely saw that I already have on the Mega Collection. Yep. So I like the Mean Bean Machine. I Everybody do too. Everybody like Mean Bean Machine. That was another one of those games that my mom would crush me on, like when <laughs> yeah. I was a kid. She like that and Dr. Mario and Yoshi's Cookie oh were God. her jam. Dr. Yeah. Mario nope, was so that's, good. Yeah. I'm a puzzle game person. <laughs> yeah. Tetris Attack. Yeah. I mean, I got good at them because that's the only game she would like. She would just come in our room, like, "Hey, you kids, want to play this game?" <laughs> 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 I guess, mom. <laughs> Eight says eight year old me that's about to get crushed by this grown <laughs> woman in a puzzle game. <laughs> Had to fantastic. adapt to survive. Yeah. Um, she can still beat me at Mean Bean Machine, though. We just wouldn't get to play if Aunt Julie was babysitting us because she'd just put Tetris in and play the Nintendo all night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my uh, One of my aunts would come over all the time and play Sonic Spinball. Yes, that game has such good music. Yeah, it did. Oh my gosh. Uh, so anyway, the we've only got ten games though of the forty announced. Uh, we got Echo the Dolphin, Castlevania Bloodlines, Space Harrier Two, Shining Force, Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, Toe Jam and Earl, Comics Zone, Sonic the Hedgehog, Altered Beast, and Gunstar Heroes. I forgot about Echo. That was always a good game. I played yep. Echo Junior as a child while my brother Ooh. played Echo. <laughs> <laughs> And it was much harder as a child. We'll buy it just because Castlevania's on it. Yeah, I figured Shannon would. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure that uh, certain people will be able to do certain things. <laughs> and, you know, s- people that allow that to happen will have access to a much larger library yeah. of Sega Genesis titles. Because, it, I mean, it straight up has, like, the, uh, the classic Genesis controller. I wish that they had done the six button. Uh, but oh, yeah. Because it's just like the standard like three, three. button uh, control pad. I also wish that it was the Genesis 2 that was the mini because I always thought that looked better than the Genesis 1. Mm-hmm. 
because uh, it's got like a little fake volume knob on there and everything, mm-hmm. like from the first Genesis. But we had the Genesis two when I was a kid. I I'm just thought that was a better looking system too, because I don't remember a knob thing. It actually. had like a slider, like a volume yeah, slider. I, don't think I had didn't that have one. any of it. I, I had guess, to rely on my neighbors. I guess we got two, but then we got the thirty two X. You go in it. <laughs> yeah, you just pop that on the top. Because yeah. yeah, the 32X was built for the Genesis 2. Yeah, uh, okay. like, so it, we definitely had that. Yeah, I mean, well, it worked in the Genesis 1, but uh, for the Genesis... Like, and Cody's probably like... I'm probably saying something wrong, and Cody's <laughs> freaking out because he's a big Genesis fanboy. Sorry, Cody. But, uh, yeah, like it, 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 was, it was meant to look like it went with the Genesis 2. Mm. Uh, like, they were very similarly designed. Yeah. The Genesis 1, it... it, it it screams the product of its era. I think that's what I have now, honestly. The Genesis one. Yeah, because uh, Pat the... had gotten that and like a Sega with the Sega CD attached to it. Mm-hmm. So he gave me the first one. So. Makes sense. I have uh, a Genesis two with a 32x laying around somewhere. I don't know where at this point. Brilliant. Yeah, I haven't messed with my Sega in a long time, uh, but I also loved Sega as a kid. It was yeah. just good stuff. So yeah, no, I will almost certainly be getting this just mm-hmm. because, if for no other reason than a brand new OEM Genesis controller sounds cool. <laughs> like I hope that it makes me feel as good as like the the nostalgia that hit me like a freight train when I opened the gen- or the 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 Super Nintendo Mini. Yes, and it had you know like a brand new OEM any mm-hmm. or Super Nintendo controller. Mm-hmm. Like like I said, nostalgia yep. hit me like a freight train. Uh huh. We're still waiting on the Mini sixty four. Yeah, please. <laughs> oh God. Uh, there's so many games that honestly like those controllers wouldn't feel good because. No. The, the N64 controller, yeah. I loved the N64 controller. Uh, that's, it's so cool and neat. <laughs> those sticks, though, like the, yeah. the middle stick, oh my God. worst idea ever. Yeah. Like, and how, like, okay, it was kind of neat for its time, but then when people are, like, domed caps, yeah. uh, way better. Yeah. yeah the, the weird pulley system that I had just broke so quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Mario Party killed so many of our controllers. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, say so I don't know. We might we might get a sixty four mini soon. I'll probably end up getting that too, just because that like as a kid I had my I spent a lot of time with my Super Nintendo, but thanks to especially Super Smash Brothers and Ocarina of Time, yep, the N sixty four was easily the most time I spent on a console as a kid. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave up on video games for a while because of the sixty four because I was not good at two D platforming. So then you made it three D. <laughs> And it was just sad. <laughs> like, I, I remember attempting to play Mario 64 at my cousin's house, and I didn't even make it through a level. Oh, Lindsay. Dang. Yeah, no. I didn't have my own system, though. I couldn't just sit there and get better. No, I, that's fair. I remember playing hours of Mario Kart. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean. So many. It's, I mean, you had a sibling as well, so you understand. Well, it the, wasn't uh, even with him sometimes. This was with my two best friends. Like, any weekend we could go to someone's house, it was Mario Kart. Oh, fair enough. Well, yeah. Like, at that point, I think my best friend still had the Super Nintendo, and so I was content just playing Mario World and Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> which were also phenomenal games. Uh, yeah, no, Jake and I were not allowed to play Mario Party. Uh, so we played Mario Kart, though. Mm-hmm. Like, we loved Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, and we could do that one, no problem. Uh, and we did that on the Super Nintendo as well. But, yeah, whenever I went over to a friend's house, for whatever reason, Mario Party was what we always played. Huh. Uh, whenever, like, yeah, any of my friends that I went over and played 64 with. Mm-hmm. Uh, that and some of the fighting games. But, yeah, Jake and I always had to get multiplayer games. So Mario yeah. Kart was a staple and a bunch of fighting games, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, and sports games. Sports games were all very multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, single player games we, that was didn't a bad go over idea. too well. No, Zelda Ocarina of Time was the first single player game that Jake and I like agreed to play, like just yeah. switching off the controller and playing through. Because uh, you wanted to play it that badly. Yeah, we just we fell in love with it because <laughs> yeah. like, Ocarina was so good. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, the Genesis Mini that's coming. We don't have a date for it yet. Uh, we don't know what the rest of the games are going to be. It's oh no, we do have a date, September nineteenth, twenty nineteen. Huh. And Jesse stands corrected. Right. I sits corrected. Uh, like, I feel like that should be uh, more prominent on this webpage. Seriously. <laughs> but anyway, uh, pre order link or pre order is coming soon, apparently. But yeah, September uh, 19th this year. Be ready to go. Uh, yeah, I'll almost certainly get it because uh, I have a problem. <laughs> All right. The Sonic movie 
is going to have a video game tie-in. Like a main one, too. Yeah, like the mainline Sonic game. This looks like it's going to be the mainline Sonic game that yep. uh, we were talking about a little while back. They said was coming. It's going to be a tie-in to the movie. It's going to feature scenes from the movie. Straight, straight cut scenes from the movie is what the article said. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, we already know like movie games are notoriously awful. And Sonic games are real hit and miss. Yeah. I feel like this, this could one could be a real trash fire. Yeah. Uh I would like the the odds are stacked against this game. Mhm. Heavily. And it says the the game will use the same controversial character model that the movie features. Mm. <laughs> Woof. So you don't confuse the Woof. newcomers. That's... Which how are you a newcomer to Sonic by now? <laughs> Uh, they're, no one is they're, they're already <laughs> making poor decisions. Yeah, no, yeah. like everything about this screams like bankruptcy again, like somehow. They're, yeah. Oh, God, this is terrible. Terrible idea. I'm moving on to it or from it. All right. Get your grains of salt ready, folks, because I got a big rumor for you. Uh, coming from Nintendo, they're planning two new Switch models. Hmm. Uh, one that's supposed to have a little bit more juice to it. So be uh, like maybe maybe play games a little quicker. Maybe I won't have to wait so long for the uh, different skins to load in Smash Bros. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure it's going to be like the new 3DS. There's going to be a, like you know a couple games here and there that require it, which will be a bummer. <sighs> Don't want that. Not old enough to do that. Right. I'm yeah, I keep forgetting about that on my because I still have one of the older 3DSs along with the newer 3DS, and it is a world of difference with the same game. Yeah, it really is. I'm, I'm really hoping that it's just going to be like the difference between an Xbox One S and a One X, mm-hmm. or PS4 and PS4 that Pro. That would be yeah. better. Uh, better, yeah. Don't yeah, be making it, exclusive games for it. Right. Like, looks better and performs better on the, the, up, uh, the souped-up version, but... Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can still do it on the Still the works just fine on the regular system. And then Hopefully. they're also working on, going the other direction, a handheld version. Uh, <laughs> the 2DS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one will not have detachable Joy-Cons. I'm assuming you'll still be able to dock it, but it won't come with one. Yeah. So it might be something you can buy later and uh, dock in. Because my understanding is it's going to have the same hardware. Uh, just like I said, the, the uh, Joy-Cons will not be removable. Which will save a little bit on the cost, and mm-hmm. yeah, like because there are some people that would rather just play handheld. So, yeah. can you get extra Joy Cons though to play two? Pl- Dude, you hook up the GameCube controller. How would you play two player game? I mean, or if you, you dock it, you can put up you know controllers and everything else. But and, okay, but if you're Sorry. if you're just playing in straight handheld mode, then I mean, I imagine it'll work just like a regular Switch. Like you can link up extra Joy Cons and stuff to it. Yeah, you just won't be able to attach the Joy Cons that are already there. Right. Uh. So yeah. Well, because like, I'm just thinking like if you're on the road and you want to play like Mario Kart with a sibling in the back seat or something on a trip and you can't because it's not. Yeah, uh, you you would likely have two of these. Yeah, because it's supposed to replace, you know, like the DS. Like you, yeah. both kids get one, and they can do the. That's fair. Uh, so that one be cheaper by. Yeah, my understanding is it's supposed to be cheaper. Wait, yeah. Uh, so I I don't know though because like Nintendo hasn't even confirmed this is going to happen. This is the second time we've heard kind of a rumor about this. Uh, the um, the souped up version though is definitely new. Uh, we just don't know like if or when Nintendo is going to talk about this. Yeah, because it very well could be or it might not be happening at all. <laughs> it's one of those, like yeah. I said, grain of salt. <laughs> it's going to bum me out though if they release like a souped up model, yeah. and then like I just finished like decking out my Switch. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's how I felt. I bought mine, and they're like, "Oh, look at this Pikachu one and stuff." I'm like, "Nah." Yeah, because I already like, especially if they if. I won't. I probably won't buy into a souped up ver- or one of the souped up versions unless they release a Fire Emblem edition. Oh, yeah. and then you will be buying. it. And then I'm just yeah. gonna like, all right. Well, hopefully these modifications won't make people not buy my system. Maybe it'll be more an attraction, right? Yeah, buying my system. Otherwise, I've got to. I still have all the the stock stuff, but that'd be annoying to go back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I'll include that in the bundle. It comes with uh, the, the original, original shells. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause it looks kind of cool, folks. I posted on my Instagram. <laughs> uh, I made all my Switch uh, transparent green. It's mm-hmm. the uh, the atomic green from like the N64. It looks really cool. But anyway, uh, so yeah, like I said, hopefully they don't release a Fire Emblem edition that looks amazing because I won't be able to help myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just won't. The irresponsible spend monster will return. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Not that it ever left. No, he right now he like he's just cruising with me, like he, <laughs> waiting for that. He's, 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 he's window shopping. Right. <laughs> he's already thinking about it. Like, what will it look like? Yeah, we're buying it if it looks anything <laughs> like any of these. Uh, but if it's like just different, like the, how the Smash Bros. edition was different, then I'm probably not gonna mess with it. Yeah. But yeah, if they go, if they give me like the uh, the 3ds, the like that special edition, mm-hmm. then yeah, I'm probably gonna buy it. That's fair. Because that was a sexy system. Anyway, that's going to do it for us, folks. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you back on, uh, it'll be Wednesday with Pro Wrestling Unscripted because I won't have a Tuesday show this week. No. All right. Thank you, Mandy and Lindsay, for joining me. Thank you for all for listening. We'll see you next time.